Hello everyone. In this AutoCAD tutorial for beginners, we will be making a simple floor plan in AutoCAD. Though this doesn't look that simple, but I promise we will make this AutoCAD basic tutorial for beginners series very simple. We will know what is AutoCAD with full information. And in this AutoCAD tutorial for civil engineers, we will learn everything from scratch to professional. As you can see, along with the floor plan, we have created the furniture plan as well as the electrical layout plan with every detail. So this AutoCAD tutorial for electrical engineers beginner will comprise complete electrical layout plan. We will learn how the electrical line is drawn from the nearby electrical pole. Then it goes into an electrical meter. Through this meter, the main line is drawn to the distribution box. And through this distribution box, a 1 inch PVC conduit pipe goes to each and every room of the house. So we will learn all of this in this AutoCAD electrical course for beginners with project. Actually, I have created this AutoCAD drawing before, way back in 2018 with complete AutoCAD 2D plus 3D. And when I look back, I can see many flaws in it. Details were missing from this AutoCAD drawing. And the video was way too fast, as this was my first video ever. That is why I thought of recreating this floor plan with a few changes and have added every details into it. So we will cover this journey from this to this. And if you guys want me to recreate the complete AutoCAD 3D drawing as well, just comment below 100 comments and I'll come up with the complete AutoCAD 3D drawing for beginners as well where I'll create this AutoCAD 3D house. And if you are a beginner, just watch this. AutoCAD for beginners, full university course is covered in one single video. Video linked in the i button. Now we will start drawing the floor plan. We are using AutoCAD 2025 version for this tutorial. First, we will set the unit. So for setting unit, type UN and press enter. I have set the length type as engineering. For feet and inches, you can either set it to engineering or architectural, depending upon the precision. I'll set it to engineering. I have set the precision to 0 feet 0 inches in this case. And insertion scale is set to inches. Then hit OK. Now I'll set the dimension style. So type D and press enter. To open the Dimension Style Manager, click on Modify, Get into Primary Units tab, Set the Unit Format as before, as we have set while setting the units. Precision is set to 0 feet, 0, 0.000 inches. Round off to 0 inches, 0 suppression to trailing, then hit OK and close. Before creating the walls, we have to create a few layers. Layers in AutoCAD help organize and control different parts of a drawing, making it easier to work with and edit. Now to create a new layer, type LA and press enter to open the layer properties manager. And you can click at this icon to create a new layer. Name it as wall. I'll name it as ABC. As I already have a layer named wall, you can change the color of the layer from here. You can change the line weight from here as shown. You can set the line type as well from here. So I'll set. Now see, here is a tick. This means wall layer is set as current layer. Now to set a layer as current layer, just double click on it. See, ABC layer is the current layer now. So just double click to set the layer as the current layer. You can set any layer as current layer from here as well. I'll open layer properties manager and set the wall layer as the current layer. And to delete a layer, just select the layer and click at this icon and it's deleted. I'll close it. Now we will start creating the walls, the inner walls. We will start with the drawing come dining room and we will use rectangle command for that. 
So either click on rectangle tool or type REC and press enter. Click anywhere in the drawing area. Now for dimensioning, either click on dimension in the command line or type D and press enter. Now we have to specify the length of rectangle. This is 11 feet. So type 11. Now we have to mention the symbol of feet. Otherwise it will be counted as inch as we have set our unit as inches. So add feet symbol. Press enter. Now we have to specify width for rectangle. This is 24 feet 6 inches. So type 24. Add feet symbol. Then type 6. Now for inch you can skip the symbol as anything without a symbol will be treated as inch in this case. You can also add it if you wish. Then press enter. So rectangle has formed but we have to specify the direction where we want to place our rectangle. So I'll just left click in the side to place the rectangle. So this is done. Now we will draw the bathroom. And this wall is 6 inches wide. So I'll repeat rectangle command by simply right clicking or by pressing enter. Now what I'll do is, I'll take extension from this point. I won't click at this point, otherwise the rectangle is drawn from this point. So after taking rectangle command, I'll come to this point. Then I'll hold for a second and then move the mouse towards right. As you can see the extension line and if in your case the extension line is not shown then you have to turn the object snap tracking on. You can turn it on or off from here or else you can press function key F11 to turn it on and even after the object snap tracking is off still we can take extension. This is because in object snap settings this extension is turned on. I'll turn it off. Now you can see we can't take the extensor anymore. So either object snap tracking should be on or the extension should be on. Or you can turn on both. I'll press F11 to turn object snap tracking on. Now we can take extension like this. We have to specify the extension length. I'll specify 6 inches and press enter. So our rectangle has started leaving 6 inches distance from our previous rectangle. Now the procedure is same. This is 9 feet by 10 feet 6 inches. So click on dimension in the command line or type D and press enter. Specify length as 9 feet. Feet symbol is important. Press enter. Specify width as 10 feet 6 inches. Press enter again and then click in the desired direction to place the rectangle. So I'll click in this side. Next we will create this bedroom. Right click to repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches from this point towards right as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 15 feet. Press enter. Specify width as 16 feet 6 inches. Press enter again. And then click in this side to place the rectangle. Now we can create the passage. Repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches downwards from the point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 9 feet. Press enter. Specify the width as 5 feet 6. Press enter again. And then left click in this side to place the rectangle. Now we can draw this bedroom. Repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches downwards from the point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 11 feet. Press enter. Specify width as 16 feet. Press enter again. And then left click to place the rectangle. Now for this bathroom. Repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches towards right from the point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 7 feet. Press enter. Specify width as 10 feet. Press enter again. And then just left click in the side to place the rectangle. Now for this balcony, 
we will take extension from this side. Repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches towards right from this point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 6 feet. Press enter. Specify width as 8 feet 6 inches. Press enter again. And then left click in the side to place the rectangle. Next we will create this balcony. Repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches downwards from the point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 11 feet. Press enter. Specify width as 8 feet 6 inches. Press enter again. And then left click in the side to place the rectangle. To draw this utility section, I'll take extension from this point. So repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches towards left from this point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 8 feet 6 inches. Press enter. Specify width as 5 feet. Press enter again. And then left click in the side to place the rectangle. Now for the kitchen, repeat rectangle command. Take extension of 6 inches upwards from this point as shown. Click on dimension in the command line. Specify length as 8 feet 6 inches. Press enter. Specify width as 12 feet 6 inches. Press enter again. And then left click in the side to place the rectangle. Now I'll move the drawing towards right a bit. So I'll select it. Type M and press enter. Click anywhere in the drawing area. And just move it towards right. I'll turn the ortho on. Now click randomly to move. Now we will draw the outer line of the wall. We will use line command to do that. So type L and press enter. Come to this point. Take extension of 1 feet upwards from this point as shown. You can type 1 feet or else you can type 12 and press enter. As 1 feet is equals to 12 inches. Move towards right. Put the cursor at this point. Don't click. This is 9 feet, so subtract 1 feet from this as the outer wall is 1 feet. So type 8 feet and press enter. Now take this point's extension towards left and click at this intersection. A red cross is shown. Move outwards. Type 12 and press enter. Take this point's extension upwards as shown and click at this intersection. Move outwards and type 12 and press enter. And do the remaining as shown. In case of balconies, the wall thickness is 6 inches. Wall between these flats is of 12 inches. So I'll draw this one. So the outer wall is done. Right click to exit from line command. We will complete this flat first and then we will use mirror to create the other flats. Next we will create the door cutouts. There are different size doors. D1 and D2. D1 is 3 feet 3 inches wide and D2 is 3 feet. So we will draw a few lines first to create the cutouts. So type L and press enter. This is the entrance. So draw this line. Right click to exit. Right click to repeat line command and draw the lines as shown. Right click to exit and right click to repeat.
we have drawn all the lines. Now I'll offset the lines. So type O and press enter. Specify offset distance as 3 feet 3 inches. Press enter. Select the line and click in the desired direction. Just do it as shown. This is 3 feet. So I'll select it. So the direction and then type 3 feet and press enter. Same for this one. Now I'll trim to complete the cutouts. Type TR and press enter. Try 2022 version. Press enter twice. Then just select the lines as shown to trim. I forgot this one. So I'll quickly create this one as well. So all done. I'll just create this kitchen slab as well. This is 4 feet and 1 feet wide. To draw this, I'll use polyline command. So type PL and press enter. Click at this point. Move downwards. Type 4 feet and press enter. Then click on arc in the command line. Specify arc diameter as 12 inches. Press enter. Arc is continuing. So click on line in command line. Click at this point and then click at this point to close the loop. Right click to exit. So this is done. So here is the entrance. This is the seating area. This is the dining place. This is the kitchen. And this one is utilities. Bedroom with attached bath. Common bath. This is the master bed with balcony. So this is it for this tutorial guys. See you in the next part. Bye bye.